and welcome to your gold market update and charts of interest for today tuesday the 6th of december mike smith senior analyst at go markets here let's just have a look at what's coming across the news wires today of course we had a very weak session on wall street after strong pmi data on the back of that good jobs number we had on friday raised fears of slightly less softening from the fed as perhaps the markets have been pricing in and so subsequently we saw a fairly significant drop China COVID news is still a headline item and there is some thinking that there may be a relaxation of some of the lockdown but still appears to be problematic and of concern. US futures are very slightly high in the early Asian action and Asian indices are following that weak US lead. The SX is down around about 0.3%. European equity futures are also suggesting a lower up later today. With that equity weakness, we saw the US dollar index bounce off near five months lows. This was helped by a slight rise in bond yields. Pretty neutral today in Asia at this stage. At GB pound looking a little stronger than most currencies and is possibly worth a look. Gold pulled down sharply on that US dollar strength from its key 1800 level, but he's still holding over the 200 EMA. And so perhaps that's a temporary blip around a key psychological level, but we'll see what today brings. All dropped also and retested year-to-date lows. That will be interesting to see if we get a push through. And copper retreated to a 200 EMA with 390 looking like the new resistance that it's just pulled back down from. The VIX did move higher, but it was only mildly so off the August lows that we've referenced before. Bitcoin paused around that 1700 short-term resistance. It seems to have found after a little move higher towards the back end of the last week. And the China COVID situation, as we've already referenced, is still in focus today. We've got the RBA decision this afternoon. We've got German factory orders and US trade balance figures also not worthy. Let's just have a look at a couple of charts that have caught our eye today. On the ASX, we are looking at iron ore stocks. Uh, Citigroup has just upgraded iron ore price and we're seeing fairly significant price movements in this group over the last couple of days particularly uh, you can see today's action on fmg isn't too shabby we can see there it's started a little lower than yesterday's big move higher you can see there we broke through a resistance yesterday at 1988 and though we did start lower look as though we've got some buying coming back into this and this may be just a temporary blip and so we're looking possibly for a move over uh, yesterday's high which was 2095 in the short term we could see this up to 2220 where do we get this level from we get it from the weekly chart if we look here but quite easily this could move up to around about 2385 in the medium term is what we are looking at right now in the fx space we see some strength in the gb pounds of already reference we're looking at the gb pound canadian dollar here and you can see it's move up over the last couple of days uh, after a pause around 162.60. Uh, so you can see there a big push up uh, followed by three days of really getting stuck around this 165.76 level. We're going to just put this line here as resistance at 165.60. We'll just check back on the weekly chart and you can see there's plenty of upside here. Now we'll go to the shorter term chart and you can see there how we've been bouncing along this line for the last couple of hours in Asia. Let's just move this up to 165.77. That could be blue sky there, possibly in the first instance up to 166. But there is little resistance up to around about 167. So this could be one pair to watch. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.